Judging by the debut episode of Star Trek Picard's second season, the writers and producers behind the iconic Patrick Stewart character's return have figured out a few things. Whereas Picard season one was an erratic and ultimately disappointing affair, season two of old Jean-Luc's adventures appears to be writing many of the missteps of its past. There are some moments that haunt us all our lives. Moments upon which history turns. Right out of the gate, this episode hand waves away several of season one's more distracting and crippling conceits. Picard's ragtag crew of non-Starfleeters? Well, several have joined or rejoined Starfleet, and a couple others are working with Starfleet too. Picard's new android body that saved him from death last season? It barely gets alluded to. And then there's Picard himself, who's now back at Starfleet as Chancellor of the Academy. Even opening the episode on a Starfleet ship feels different from this show's previous mandate, which seemed to avoid familiar Star Trek tropes as much as it could. Speaking of which, the Stargazer kicks off with a literal bang on board the new and improved USS Stargazer, where we find Picard activating the auto-destruct. It's an exciting way to jumpstart the new season, even if it feels cribbed from the next-gen classic cause and effect, as we then join Jean-Luc 48 hours earlier, alive and well on his vineyard. That Irma Thomas's cover of Time Is On My Side is playing gives that familiar scenario a different taste, to be sure, and one that is clearly telegraphing where this season is heading. Here we learn of a tentative romance between Jean-Luc and Orla Brady's Laris, the Romulan expat who we first met last season. But when that hits a wall, Picard finds himself pondering what led to his solitary existence as a Starfleet captain. Why must he always be so alone? The flashback that reveals to us the real reason why Picard sought the stars is perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the episode. Picard's parents' marriage was not perfect, and was maybe even marred by violence of some kind. So Mama Picard taught little Jean-Luc to look towards the stars as an escape from the pain of those domestic disturbances. This new information goes a long way toward explaining the cold, distanced Picard we first met in the early days of the next generation. Jean-Luc can't even bring himself to tell his old friend Guinan about that part of his personal history. Yes, Whoopi Goldberg is back, and she picks up right where she left off as the wise bartender, now working in a different 10 forward. Seeing Stewart and Goldberg together again is great, and it's telling that when Jean-Luc is feeling heartsick, he goes back to Guinan for advice. But the Borg are calling for Picard literally, as it turns out, and so most of the Picard squad from last season are reunited when a mysterious ship appears. Its crew seemingly want to be friends, even while attacking Captain Rios' Stargazer. As a strange cloaked Borg emissary, not quite Queen, not quite Borg, beams on board, we find ourselves right where we began the episode, with Picard being forced to order the self-destruct. Only this time, he awakens back home, or rather in a distinctly different, apparently dystopian version of his home. And wouldn't you know it, John Delancey's Q is waiting there for his old sparring partner. The question is, is it as a friend or foe, or both? The Stargazer course corrects many of Star Trek Picard's first season mistakes, while also bringing back several of Jean-Luc's most iconic associations with the Borg, Q, Guinan, and even the Stargazer. Yes, it's seemingly rehashing elements from the past, but doing so in a new and interesting way, particularly when delving into a previously unknown and darker aspect of Picard's backstory. The writing staff seem intent on balancing the familiar tropes of Trek while sticking to the mission of doing something different with and for Patrick Stewart, the actor. This is a good start in that regard, so let's hope they can maintain the course for the duration of this season. For more on Star Trek, be sure to check out the hidden meaning behind Star Trek's greatest captains. And don't forget to like and subscribe to IGN wherever you watch. Where are you taking us? Home.